operating the Macaw control tablet. Tetracam highly recommends that customers consult the Macaw user guide for detailed instructions. Tetracam provides a tablet to control the Macaw wirelessly, as well as to give the user access to files and documentation. Power on the tablet by holding down the button at the top right corner until a logo appears on the screen. If the battery on the tablet isn't charged, simply charge it up using an available USB port on your PC or outlet on the wall using the provided adapter. Once the tablet is running, there are three ways in which you can operate the tablet. Read the Macaw user guide, transfer the Macaw user guide and other files from the tablet onto a PC, and use the tablet to wirelessly interface with the Macaw. Read the Macaw user guide. All of the files on the tablet are located in the Documents folder in the internal memory, which is accessible by pressing on the Docs icon on the tablet's home screen. To get there, we start by pressing the button at the top right of the tablet if the screen isn't active, then swipe the screen. This is the home screen. From here, we press on the Docs icon. Five icons should now be visible. The Macaw User Guide, Setup Files for PuTTY, XMing, WinSCP, and a folder that contains the PixelWrench for Macaw setup file. After pressing on the Macaw User Guide, we are now able to read the User Guide on the Macaw Control Tablet. Swiping your fingers left and right on the screen turns the pages. Transferring files from the tablet to a PC. To transfer files from the tablet onto a PC, we first connect the tablet with a USB cord to a PC. In Windows File Explorer, opening the drive that's labeled Fire leads us to the tablet's internal storage. Inside the internal storage, we want to open the Documents folder. At this point, the files should be visible, in which case we can copy them wherever we want on our PC. Information about these applications are found in the Macaw User Guide and in another Macaw Instruction video. Using the tablet to interface wirelessly with the Macaw. Finally, to interface wirelessly with the Macaw using the tablet, the Macaw must be on with the camera application running. It is clear that this is the case if the fan is running and the Macaw LED is green. Using the tablet, we must first connect to the Macaw's Wi-Fi hotspot. With the screen active, we swipe down from the top of the screen to view a list of options. We are interested in the Wi-Fi menu, so we click that button. From here, we connect to Macaw 0002 based on the unit's serial number 260002. Once we have done this, we click the circle at the bottom of the screen to get back to the tablet's home screen. Finally, by clicking on Silk Browser, we reach the Macaw web browser interface. The web address of the interface is 192.168.102.1. Notice that third entry separated by periods in the address ends in 02. 192.168.1xx.1 would describe the web address of one Macaw compared with another where XX is the last two digits of each unit's serial number. For example, if your unit's serial number was 260063, the web address of this unit would be 192.168.163.1.